Hello, and welcome to T-Slots. Today, in our product overview series, I will be reviewing our selection of linear bearings. Linear bearings give motion to just about any project from a variety of angles. Our linear bearings come pre-assembled, making them simple and quick to install. The pads that are fitted to the linear bearing consist of a UHMW material. It is self-lubricating, giving the linear bearing a smooth motion. These bearings are available in our fractional and metric lines and come in different sizes to fit with the variety of profiles that we offer. Depending on the extrusion profile that you will be fastening to the linear bearing, the proper hardware will need to be identified and ordered separately. To learn more about the linear bearings and the hardware that needs to be ordered, you can see the linear bearing section of our T-Slots catalog. When installing your linear bearing, you'll want to start off by preloading your hardware to the linear bearing. Once that is done, you will load your linear bearing onto your extrusion profile. Once that is complete, you will take your adjoining profile, slide that through the fasteners of the linear bearing. Once it is in the position that you want, you fasten it down. For applications where your linear bearing needs to rest in a fixed position, our brake stops are the best solution. We carry T-handles, L-handles, and star handles. It is important to note that when using these brake stops, machining on the linear bearing will need to be required. When connecting these brake stops, place the bolt through the back side of the linear bearing and connect it to the handle. Slide it on to the linear bearing and tighten it down. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you were able to learn more about our linear bearing selection and how they are used. For more information, visit us at tslots.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels for further tips and more informational videos. Thank you.